Hi there, it's Mark here again, and today we're going to be looking at these wooden models from U Gears. Now I've got Rob on the camera. Hiya! And it's something a little bit different for the channel, don't you think, Rob? Um, well, yeah, but the kids' toys, aren't they? What are you on about? On your YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, I'm a modeler, aren't I? I mean, some well, models. Well, yeah, you are. And I might surprise you when I talk to you about these models, Rob, because right. they're not just... You know, to look at. They're not just wooden They're models. They're not toys. No, they actually work, Rob. They are mechanical models. Okay. Yeah, and they're powered by either rubber bands or right. by a big core spring. So I think this, wow. one, this one over here is um, clockwork. Right. And you can uh, wind them up and they will actually drive. Cool. And they're built of plywood. Wow. Which is laser cut. So I wasn't sure when... Uh, I was first asked to review these, so I had a look on the website, and straight away I was hooked. I looked at them and thought, wow, they are beautiful pieces of work, aren't they? And uh, like I said, the fact that you build it yourself, it's made of natural materials from sustainable wood, and you can fit the hundreds of parts together. This one I think is 348 parts, Rob, with this. Wow. So it's going to take some putting together. You get everything you need in the box to build this fantastic car. So this is a U9, like a historic Grand Prix racing car. And uh, it, like I said, it's fully functional. The steering works, and the suspension works, uh, the pistons all go up and down, and the valves and the motor wow. even. And you can wind it up, and it will actually drive along for quite a few metres, I believe. So I'm looking forward to uh, building one of these up and yeah. uh, trying it out. So what else have you got then, dude? Right, so on top of that one, I've been sent this, which is a Cobra, which is a famous wow. American car. Uh, I do think that one looks rather beautiful. And again, uh, this is called a drift car. So apparently, you can actually <laughs> spin the wheels up on it under right. power and it will drive along and drift sideways. Cool. If you turn the steering, so... You Yeah, so again, the steering wheel will actually turn the wheels and you've got lots of parts that move on this one. I think the doors, the bonnet opens and uh, the boost. And again, I'll say this is run off a coil spring. You can wind it up and uh, off it will go. So this one's 370 parts, Rob. Um, nice. Yeah, so still quite a few parts in this one. And it's a 1 14th scale model when it's finished. Cool. And the last one I've got, Rob, this is the biggest one uh, of all that I've got. This is a much wider pack. And uh, this one's got 735 parts. I think it's the most complicated one to build. Same and uh, you should see what this thing could do. Um, not only does it kind of drive when you wind it up, but it's got so many parts that uh, move on this one. The bonnet comes up, the boot comes up, the seats are all movable, the steering works. It even comes up with a working jack, so you can jack it up. And a little toolkit, would you believe? Um, oh, wow. I've got some uh, more detailed pictures from the U-Gears website that will pop up. So you can see uh, a little bit more detail what they look like when they're finished, because they are beautiful models. They are sound really now. Are. So a little bit about the company. Now, U-Gears are a Ukrainian company. Um, they're situated, I think, just outside of Kyiv. I think it's how it's pronounced. Yeah, I could I be wrong, so. but uh, check out the websites. Some of the proceeds from the sale of these kits goes to help the people of Ukraine, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, and they do start at good prices. They're down from below £10, UK pounds, uh, up to £50, £60, pounds, and uh, a lot of these models come with free shipping. So with all that said, Rob, shall we have a look what's inside the box? I think so, sir. I've taken the cellophane off this one, so I'll right. look inside the, uh, the Grand Prix car. Yeah. Right then, so as I said, um, it's all made out of plywood, as you can see, um, there's lots and lots of sheets here, and as I said, they're uh, laser cut, and you have to press each of the parts out, and you get everything in the box that we need. This is the first time for me, Rob. Wow. So, look how accurate the cuts are on that. Yeah. There's some detail in that, and so obviously we're going to put the pistons gonna, in there, and the valves. Part of the cylinder end, That's right, so I don't want to mix all these up because it, they're all numbered, you can see. Yeah. So um, we'll have a look at the instruction book in a minute. So there's one sheet. Look at that, Rob. There's the grill. That's fantastic detail, isn't it? Yeah. And you've got all your gears and so on there. And this looks like the side of the chassis, doesn't it, mate? Yes, so, definitely. Yeah, that's uh, about the size of it. So it's about that long plus the wheels either end. So it is a fair size model. Wow, look at all these parts. 
It's going to take you some time, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Those wheels, that's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Even more wheel parts. Look, there's the spokes. So that's all your wooden parts, which is quite substantial, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, you get your manual. I'll open that in a sec. Wow. And at the bottom, whoa. So there's the rubber bands that are going to power it. Oh my gosh. And the cocktail sticks, I think, are used to join a lot of the parts together. So as I said, there's no glue required. So all you need are your cocktail sticks. Um, some of the moving parts you need to rub down, that's some uh, sandpaper. The parts that move need to be lubricated and you use wax, so I think that's candle wax. Cool. That you just to um, ease the movement of yeah. the, the, the small parts up and down. And as I said, uh, it all goes together with uh, cocktail sticks and uh, no glue. So a quick look at the manual so you get an idea of what's involved. Now, if you look on the website, it does give you lots of information about these kits. You can see nice. loads of different photos and they've got videos, I think, for nearly all of them, Rob, of the the actual parts that move and of the car itself driving along as I said yeah. they do all sorts of uh, kits so they're not just cars, bikes they've got aeroplanes, they've got a train they also do games um, there's a clock I think on there all sorts of stuff so basically so this is your instructions it's, I think it's in 10 languages and I think this one will take about 8 to 10 hours it says to put together but so all the wow. information is on the website so I'll put a link to the website down in the description so here you can see you, Colour build, guys. Need. It is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So he's putting together the uh, pistons. Look, and there's a crankshaft. We're quickly going to flip through this. There's building the motor. This is where you use those cocktail sticks. Look, Rob. So yeah. you cut them, and then you, you use those. Look for the um, piston shafts. It's your elastic bands over here, Rob. Um, and that will obviously be um, for providing the power when you wind that up. Oh my gosh, how many pages is this, Rob? Just a few, mate. I tell you what, if you buy one of these kits. Uh, you will certainly be kept busy for a while I think yeah it's not going to go together in a few minutes that's for sure so uh, lots and lots to be doing here I do like the look of this let's just go right towards the end how many pages have we got Rob the going instructions of how to wind it up and how to make it go you've got an on off switch here <laughs> and uh, it go, I think it goes forward and backwards that is quite amazing and 47 pages Rob <laughs> of instructions and this is, I think, uh, this is the easier one uh, yeah. to build. So there you go. So there's a little taster of what's involved with one of these kits. Like I said, it's, uh, it's not what you might first think when you look at them, is it, Rob? No. So it's certainly not just a static model for the mantelpiece, although obviously they are beautiful things when they're finished. I'm looking forward to doing this. And uh, But as I said, if you want to go and take it out for a spin uh, or just uh, move the parts around, it's um, yeah, a fantastic pastime, I think, to get involved with. So what do you think out there? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Uh, do you think I should build this one first? Or about the Drift Cobra we got? Um, or your masochists out there? <laughs> <laughs> Might try and get me to build the hardest one, as they say. Um, let me know what you think. So there's a big thanks for you gears for sending me these models for review. And hopefully you'll be enjoying seeing these on my channel soon. Uh, finished and working. I uh, will be doing videos on each one of uh, basically quickly assembling I'm not going to go through every single step because the video will be like 24 hours long yeah uh, but the basic how to put it together what's involved and obviously see if we can get some videos of them running Rob that'll be fun it will yeah right so thanks for watching and catch you soon bye bye